Oh, another great song in the Japanese soundtrack. Oh man, what a fantastic song, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so oh it looks like Wacky Workman. It looks like Wacky Workman. Oh my god, what a fantastic song. But again, I'm going to give you guys a strat on how to go to the pass. Even though there's literally no reason for me to go to the pass anymore. There's no more Metal Sonic holograms. But um, some people are going to probably try to look at this for Glidung and the Savior of the Planet Achievement. So... Uh, there's actually a setup in the stage for you here. Oh. Yeah, so there's, there is the, uh, roboticizers. They're over here. I don't even know why there are even roboticizers here. Well, I guess this is Eggman's place. He should have more enemies. Okay, I guess it makes sense. Okay, but there is a strat over here. Um, okay. Alright. There it is, right over here. This is where you want to go. Because I don't know any other place where you want to travel to the pass. And uh, the US soundtrack is selected on. Not here. And oh! Oh my god. Okay, so what happened here is that the game has soft locks. There is a glitch here where if you time travel here, you will get stuck. Well, guess who has to go back anyways? Let's go. Uh, well, I have to go back anyways since I have to change, the, change it to the. Uh, U.S. soundtrack for the past themes. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Wow. It took me long enough to get my first death. Yeah, but that death has been undone. What is he doing with those rings? He has, what is he going to use them for? All right, let's let's do this again. All right, I'm hoping and praying that it doesn't soft block me this time. No, I'm soft locked again. Oh my god. Ugh. 
Okay, I think I know what to do. I'm going to jump out of this last moment. There we go, jump out to save myself from getting uh, soft locks. There we go, and oh my god, this thing is so thematic, very fitting. Yeah, because it's right over here where I would be and I'll be soft locked. You know, the enemy is dead. Alright, this song is actually really good. I'm, I'm actually gonna let you guys listen to it. This is where it would be, but since there's no need to really go here, since there's no Metal Sonic, because, uh, well, Metal Sonic's defeated, so no more roboticizers to destroy, and no more holograms to destroy. Because here in Metallic Madness, the animals appear by default in the good future. Okay, that was pretty simple, not that bad. Alright, now this is the hardest stage in the entire game. It's also the longest, so I guess it could be an exclamation Y. Uh, Japanese soundtrack definitely fits here. I feel like the Japanese soundtrack has a bit of a cinematic feel. The US soundtrack does too here, but more so like it fits an open space like this. Like an open space inside a factory. Alright, now I'm gonna have to see if I can find a past sign over here. Go to the, we don't want to go to the good future. Okay. Um, we're gonna go to the left and see what's over here. Uh, these little machines here will... What is he doing? Okay, all you have to do is stand right by him, I know. Game logic. Standing next to a bomb should result in you getting hit, at least. But no. Um... There it is. The game just sets it up for you. You know what to do at this point. And there we go, there's the final strat to go into the past. I hope you've enjoyed this glide of how to go to the past if I ever make this into a glide. Okay. 
Uh, the robotic sizer, though, is not that far off. In fact, we were on the correct path. I believe you want to take a left here. Yeah, take a left here, because it's right over here. No pun intended. Is that a pun? It's rhyming. Well, not really. Yep, there's where the final robotic size would be. So that is 100% Sonic CD. And of course, if you're going for the uh, savior of the planet achievement, you have to get the, the final time zone here. If you get the final time zone before here, you can't destroy the roboticizers manually, which cancels out the achievement. And failing the uh, savior of the planet uh, achievement really hurts, dude. It really does. But you have to abuse the fact that you can pause and go back and start the special stage all over again. Okay. There we go. Change that 69 to a better number, because 69 is not a funny number. And these things can shoot you up. Woo! Three rings for troubles. The song is really soothing, really good for a final level. The Japanese version is also pretty good, too. Whoa, that looks really cool, actually. You know what's weird about this past? That it looks a little bit like a good future. It, it does look like a good future. It just does. There we go. Simple as. Oh, it makes the same sounds as that freaking UFO with the time. Man, sometimes if you ever want to relax, just listen to Metallic Man is Past US by KMS. It's really good. It's really nice. Really good. Oh my god. say about this other than this tiny Sonic or Chibi Sonic appears in uh, Mania, which we don't want to talk about Mania too much here because Mania bastardized the music in this game. Man, you know, Metallic Man is past you as hits really different at night and in the morning. I don't know why, it just does. Yeah, you can do this. He can do the super peel out. He does a different. Uh, this is a super peel animation, and his spin Nash. There we go. All right. According for the past things, I actually lost all my rings there. It was really painful to see that happen. Alright, this time I didn't lose my rings. There we go. Just used to jumping after that ring. There we go. All, all I have to do is conclude at the good future, and the, the, the good future of Metallic Madness is a very beautiful song uh, in the American soundtrack. It also isn't a Japanese soundtrack, but this one fits more. Alright. 
All right. Very serene, very beautiful. I remember listening to this song, like, literally, like, was it this week or last week for, like, two hours? Very good. Very good song, indeed. Yeah, but as you can see, Metallic Man, this good feature isn't all that peaceful. Uh, for a good feature, kind of. It has some traps in here and whatnot, and the Japanese version does not fit this all because of this. Too many traps for Japanese version. At least the US version can at least acknowledge that there is still some evil. There we go. Gosh, we're gonna have 40 lives at the end of this. And I haven't actually officially died with the unsaved with a with a saved death. I didn't die with a death that saved. Uh, these things, I don't know what they're I don't know what they're called. But yeah, look at that. Enemies appearing in the good feature. Does this really does the Japanese version fit all that well? Do you think it's a bit being it a little bit too much? Alright. The game still doesn't agree with me on this, but game can cope as much as it wants. Simply simple as simple as. Alright. There we go. The timing for that is a bit difficult. 20 rings? Well, that's just how old I am. 20. I first played this game on this level when I was 14, so six years later. Alright. Let's try to get that first hit without getting hit. Never mind. I've done it before, too. I've done it before. It's really difficult to do. Oh, so that's the timing for it. Okay. There we go. Alright. There we go. Yeah, the US boss doesn't even phase me. I'm just used to the hearing this, so it doesn't really scare me that much. There we go. Eggman has been defeated. Let's get our girlfriend, Amy. And the music here. There it is, guys. Sonic CD. Uh, this is still my favorite classic Sonic game. This is what classic Sonic should have been, to be honest. But granted, if it was more like this, I wouldn't see this game as special. So, hey. Oh, I love that part of the song. The pads. Oh, man. Such a fantastic song, man. I like it better than the opening version, definitely. And I think this is my favorite vocal theme of all time, I think. Favorite vocal theme so far, at least. It's so beautiful. It's just so... Oh, man. This makes you reminisce over the journey. A bit peaceful, too. Oh, man. And we haven't even gone to the best part of this song yet. We haven't gone to it, but... Oh, man. There you go. Destroying enemies. There's an animation error there. Yeah, 
There is uh, the race, but it's in the present. Interesting. I think that's it for the animations. Um, I'd rate this game probably like an eight and a half out of 10, maybe to a nine, honestly. The soundtracks, uh, Japanese soundtrack, 8.2 out of 10, US soundtrack, 8.3, I believe, something like that. Basically a statistical tie at this point. And oh my God, listen to this. What an amazing guitar. You're too cool. Well, that is it for the base game of Sonic City, but there are things to be tackled with in the time attack and the wrong song is playing. What the heck? The wrong song is playing here. It's supposed to play the time attack theme. What the heck is going on here? What's going on here, man? But yes, if I ever do make bonus episodes, I'll see you guys in the next episode. But as of now, I've been recording videos for like the past three hours. I have to get these edited and put on YouTube. So I'll see you guys either in the time attack or in Sonic 2. Good night, everybody. God bless you guys. And good night. And I love you.